Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you the switch function which is new in Excel 2019. It's very similar in the sense of looking numbers up or values up um, in a, a lookup table or a manually typed in kind of switching table to the VLOOKUP function. Um, let me show you with an example and explain when you might want to use this as opposed to the VLOOKUP. So in this little scenario here we have order values and then we have order type then we have a little lookup table here which is probably like something like an internal kind of reference we have where we are told that values of one for order are online orders two are in-store orders and three are international orders and what we'd like to do the goal here is to instead of having just the order values to actually have what the order type was so to do that we know we can do a v lookup and use this as our lookup table Okay, we'll do that later to check our work, but we want to introduce the switch function. Okay, so type switch and first the expression. So for us, we're going to start with that cell. We're going to see if that value is one. Let's start with that. This is an online order. If it's two, it's a in store order. If it's three, it's a international order and finally one thing that this is ni nice about the switch function is you can give at the very end you can do as many of these as you need at the end uh, you can put a default value so in other words if we don't match with any of these three one two or three we can have um, Excel and the switch function give us a default value back. So let me let me just type something like no match. I could type whatever I like, so I don't have to get an error message or like a not available message. Okay, let's hit enter. And in fact, let's switch one of these to like four. We know we don't have a four, so we could see what happens there when it doesn't find a match. So clearly that's online. Clearly these next two are in store online international what happens when it doesn't find it I go to my default which was the last argument okay so that's nice and then let's complete this so you see we got all our order types in okay now you could have also done this with a VLOOKUP function except with a VLOOKUP function if it didn't find the four it would give you a, a an NA uh, and then you would have to nest that if function uh, sorry that VLOOKUP function in a if NA to remove that NA for any cases where you didn't have a match. So this gives you an alternative when your lookup table is not too long and you want a very quick and dirty way of switching some coded value perhaps to some more expressive kind of value um, and don't want to go the route of VLOOKUP and also have a fail safe in cases where there's no match like I created here. Okay, so that's the if function new in Excel 2019. I uh, hope that this was helpful. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share, and watch the rest of my tutorial videos on Jalaya Academy. Till next time, have a great day.